What is on? So this is the start of a 10 week deadlift program just undertaken. It's called the Cone Deadlift Program. It's basically written by a powerlifter, the greatest powerlifter of all time apparently, a guy called Ed Cone, and he wrote this for another powerlifter and it's a program designed to make tremendous amounts of strength gains in a short period of time. So as I said, it's 10 weeks long. And what you do is you go online to this little website and you put in your current deadlift max and your desired deadlift max, okay? And then you calculate it and it works it all out week by week, what you have to do and how much weight you have to lift to get from A to B and improve in that certain amount of time. Um, this is week two here, so you actually start, oh, start off below your current max. My max is, at the start of this program, 180 kilograms and my desire is 200 kilograms, okay? I've never deadlifted before in my life really, I've done it like a few times, never actually like done it as part of my workouts, but I really should. I've been told I have a 100 lower back compared to my upper, and it's one of the three main big lifts, and I don't think enough people like take deadlifting seriously really, including myself, so I'm gonna start now, okay? It's in there with your bench press, your squat, and your deadlift, the three main big lifts, and I was missing one of them. So I'm starting this, one for strength, because building up strength is a lot of fun, but I don't really care for strength, as I've said, and another is just to build up my lower back. So it's kind of two birds of one stone, you're gaining strength, you're having fun at the same time whilst making some gains, okay? One thing I've noticed that the program doesn't have is it kind of jumps you straight up to a real heavy weight with low volume. What I like to do is to build up the weight slowly. So here I've got one plate each side. I think I get about 12 reps, real slow, exaggerated movements, pausing at the top, just kind of stretching, warming everything up before I go onto those heavier low volume lifts, okay? I jump it up in steps. So I start with one plate each side, and then I then go onto two plates each side, and then I go onto my one rep low volume rep range as specified by the cone deadlift workout which is two and a half plates three and a half plates you decide i think so that's 160 kilograms as i said one rep max is 180 and my other one blah, blah, my desired max is 200 kilograms so yeah it's 20 kilograms in 10 weeks it's a lot of strength gains i don't know if i can do it but we shall see anyway psych myself up get that mind muscle connection get my head in game and then yeah one rep just getting in there Building it up slowly in increments rather than jumping straight up to that big weight. Yeah, here we go, 160 kilograms, one rep. It's a light weight for me, like I can do this. I know I can do this, I can probably get like three reps on this. But it's always good to fight stuff up, okay? I like to lift up the bar and slam it on the ground as well, just to let myself know that I can do it. I know I can lift this weight, but it's just kind of a habit. I pick it up and slam it on the ground just to show myself that I can pick it up like mentally. It, like it's kind of a battle of the mind as well, like you, you know you can lift it but a lot of it's in your head, okay? So look, here goes, lifting that bar up, showing I can lift it, it's just what I like to do to sign myself up, everyone's different, but yeah. Drive. Yeah, so that was my third and final rep. Anyway, next it's speed deadlifts, 130 kilograms, I do believe, as specified by week two online. Um, what we're doing is you're driving up as fast as you can really, I think. So it's, you're really exploding up from that bottom. Then on the negative, you're kind of coming down slowly, but you're, you're making it quick as well, if that makes any sense. And instead of slamming the bar when it's on the ground, a lot of people like slam it and bounce it back up using the momentum to help them place it on the ground, okay? So have a little pause and then drive again. It makes it so much harder for yourself. I think this is my third and final set on that 130 kilogram weight. I'm kind of struggling towards the end. I'm trying to keep a good form, but I, I always hit my left knee for some reason. Like I'm sure it's me doing something wrong, but it's, it's just what I did. Really feeling the pain now. Just driving. There we go, beautiful. Anyway, we then go on to a circuit made up of four different exercises. Stiff leg bed lifts, bent over rows, reverse grip lap pull down, and good morning. So I started on stiff legged deadlifts with one and a, I think it's like a quarter or a, a quarter? No, it's going to be one and an eighth plate on each side. So 2.5 kilograms on each side with one plate as well, well as that. Um, I don't know why I use such a light weight. I could do two plates each side easily, but I think I just set it up for my. Um, bent over row really, I, it's stupid, I should have gone heavier, I should have pushed myself more on that exercise, but I didn't think about it. I stuck two and a half kilogram weights on as well each side, because last week I was doing it just one plate, and every week I want to make some improvements for strength, so. 
in the actual Conventive program on the se like the second half of the workouts that you do during the day, it doesn't specify what weight to go. So I kind of want to go to a weight where I'm fatiguing towards the end, which is good on the like the bent over rows, but on on the stiff legged deadlifts, it was just way too light for me. I should go heavy. I should have pushed myself harder, but oh well. It's fairly low reps, well, 8 to 10 reps. I think on one of these sets, I did 10 reps on the reverse grip lat pull down, so I'm just trying to get that more kind of hypertrophy rep range in and push myself a little bit harder. It's not going to hurt to do more reps if you can, so yeah. And this was a disaster, all right? These are meant to be arched back good mornings, and I've never done them before in my life. Um, I really struggled with these and found that they hurt my hamstrings a bit, but I think it hits your it hits your lower back and kind of your glutes and hands sort of area from what it felt like anyway, but I just can't do them at all. I'm not sure if the weight was too heavy or if I was just had terrible fall, but if you know how to do those, tell me where I'm going wrong. So I eventually completely gave up on those, and as you'll see in a second, I just went on the like, lower back machine, got a plate, and just did some reps and that to kind of hit the same area, but I just really wasn't feeling it. So on the second and third set, I did that anyway. But, yeah, so that was the actual condemnic workout. Um, as I said, I want to gain size. Don't really want to gain strength. That's kind of a second priority. That's yeah, fun, okay? So, although the cone strength program is good for strength, obviously, it's not, its primary goal isn't really size. So, at the end, I'm just shoving in some extra workouts to ensure I hit kind of a hypertrophy range and just get a good pump on my back. So, I did that workout on the day that I was meant to train back, actually, which probably wasn't the best idea because... It's a strength program again, so I've re rejiggled my training program and currently I'm training, doing the cone deadlift program on a Wednesday and training back on a Thursday the day after. So I've kind of changed things around to incorporate that. But anyway, that was week two of that. I, I'm on 160 kilograms at the moment, next week's 170, then week four is when it's meant to get hard apparently. So you start hitting your one rep max as a kind of working set and then it proceeds from there. And then hopefully by week 10, I'll be on 200 plus kilograms. Yeah, so that's that. I'll be doing week three this week and I'll let you guys know how I get on.